Tammy, Jim, four Bakersfield City Council seats are on the ballot this election for Wards 1, 3, 4, and 7. Incumbents Bob Smith of Ward 4 and Eric Arias of Ward 1 are running unopposed. However, Wards 3 and 7 are up for a battle where both wards have multiple challengers. Ken Weir is the incumbent in Bakersfield's 3rd Ward and has represented the ward since 2006. Now, after being challenged by local businessman Boyd Benninger and retired electrician Lonnie Datto for a city council seat, that could change. In these city council elections, crime and homelessness has been a big discussion amongst the candidates, and each candidate of Ward 3 says crime is a priority. Crime is rampant all over this community. It's no different in Northeast Bakersfield. In parts of the ward that I just inherited in the Westchester area and around there, the crime is really bad. So we've got to come up with a formula or a plan that we can address that and take this, this scourge off of our plates. There's a lot of issues with, with speeding, uh, street racing. Uh, there's also an issue at a couple of areas uh, up near uh, Malview Road where acts ingress and egress, the access in is, is, is dangerous. So those are, those, are things that, those are things I think that we can start with. Security. I was up there for five days. I never saw a police car. Ward 7 is also up for a big change with challengers Manpreet Kaur, Tim Collins, and Raj Gill after the announcement that Councilman Chris Parlier would not seek re-election. Kaur is the Director of Development of the Jakar Movement, a grassroots community building organization. Collins is a full-time teacher with the Kern High School District, and Gill is a business owner. Last week, the candidates faced off in a debate here at 17 News and discussed crime and each had their own way of tackling the issue. We have to have a strong police force. Mm -hmm. We have to have a strong police uh, management on it too. And I will do my best to you put more fund in the police department. There's opportunity to bring funds, and I think Ward 7 can see more of the funds for Measure N uh, to decrease uh, response times. Supporting the police department and their great work, making sure we're spending that uh, Measure N money well. But what I think really needs to happen that I want to work on is working uh, well and effectively with all the other departments here. As the hours wind down towards the end of election night, unopposed candidates Bob Smith and Eric Arias will take victory into the next term. However, the races for wards three and seven are still the ones to watch. To win, one candidate will need to win the most votes above the others, and there are no runoffs. McKayla Armstrong, 17 News.